what we're gonna do now is get you to name a five-a-side squad. So we'll go with a we'll go with a diamond formation. Diamond with the a five. Diamond, <laughs> yes. Do an impression of Drogba's <laughs> iconic celebration for us. Oh, I can't do that. I don't know. Oh god. No, we're playing okay. badly. Today I am joined by a man who has won the Premier League, the Champions League, and the FA Cup three times with Chelsea, Florent Maluda. Lampard's turn to hit a fantastic ball. What a first touch that is. The shot driven in. Florent Maluda went close early on, but this time he has drawn Chelsea level. You played for Chelsea for six years, leaving in 2013. What does it feel like to be back here at Cobham? Um, really, it's. Uh, I won't get too emotional, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it's been nice because I've been welcomed by like my former teammates who now getting older like me, yeah. uh, and uh, even the staff member is like uh, like get back into into the family, the familiar place. Uh, we 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 had so many emotions, bad, good, and uh, and a lot of stuff, but. Uh, yeah, I feel like I belong here and uh, it's nice to see the evolution of the, of the club as well. You won so many trophies with Chelsea. Do, what is your, your favourite memory? Still the, the, the Champions League final. Uh, that was, I would say, the ultimate goal for, for most of us. Uh, of course, the Premier League were, was great, but uh, we were all chasing <laughs> this yeah. trophy and the way it happened is uh, like incredible. So, yeah, for me, it's uh, like the greatest achievement, I think, for, for the club. You obviously scored loads of goals at Chelsea. What is your favourite one? What one meant the most to you? My favourite is is one who was disallowed. <laughs> so so I, no I don't know if I can count it, but I remember I scored, I think it was against Everton, a goal in uh, Wembley, but the referee didn't see it. <laughs> Maluda! Side of the bar, bounced the right side of the line from Everton's point of view. Tim Howard grabs it. That's how close Flora Maluda was. You played for us at a time where we had so many big characters in the team. Carlo Ancelotti was around, and it seemed like there was just a really good atmosphere at Chelsea. Who were the biggest pranksters? Who were the jokers in the squad at that time? Uh, definitely David Luiz. I think he still is. <laughs> um, David Luiz, uh, uh, I would say Salomon Kalu as well. Like, <laughs> it was so, we had so much fun together. Uh, as you said, a lot of great characters. Uh, sometimes it was really, really tense, but uh, yeah, we had a lot of, of uh, jokes. You probably get this question all the time, but at the time when you were playing, did you see that Frank Lampard was going to be a coach? No, 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 no definitely no. Uh, I mean, the way he plays, he, like, he's, uh, he's got a strategical approach of the game. Yeah. But as a player, no, you know, I never felt like he would become manager. It's like someone always quiet, and that's why when, even when I watch the the press conferences, uh, like if it's strange to 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 see the way he expresses himself, and I think it's a nice evolution. It's, it's a good example, and uh, and it was so so quick. Like when he retired, like uh, he, he started to to take the coaching badges and everything, and he took responsibilities. So I think that's one aspect of his character. He takes responsibilities, and that's the example I take from him. The team that we have now at Chelsea is quite different to the team that you played in. So we have a lot of youth here now. What do you make of the wingers, the youthful wingers such as Hudson Adoy and, and Pulisic? What do, you, what do you make of them? I mean, they, they are really skillful. It's like the new generation has so much skills. It's like when you play FIFA Street yeah, <laughs> at the yeah. time, like they have so many skills. And uh, I think the, the, the evolution of the, the, the wingers role in, in Every team, not only Chelsea, is, is totally different. Before, wingers used to go on the, on the wings and, yes. and put crosses yeah. in. Yeah. Now, a winger, they, they have to defend, they fast, they, they cut in, and uh, it's totally different uh, uh, role in, in the team. But, uh, I mean, that's uh, evolution. Even physically, you can see it's a different type of, of, uh, of physics. Uh, the, like, they all play with both feet, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. it's uh, the, the, the evolution of, of 
of the winger role. Uh, but what you can say is there's, uh, there's quality. Right, what we're going to do now is get you to name a five-a-side squad, the, the best five-a-side squad, uh, five -side squad that we can get based on the players you played with at Chelsea. So we'll go with a, we'll go with a diamond formation. Diamond with the a five Diamond, <laughs> yeah, so we'll go one defender, <laughs> two midfielders okay. and one striker and a keeper, obviously. Okay, so uh, defender, I would pick John Terry because he can end up in the goal as well. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? did, yeah. So I'm trying to uh, midfielder. Uh, I would pick uh, Makelele to balance the team, and uh, I would put uh, Deco. Okay, Deco yeah. in five yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, definitely in five side. Definitely, yeah. and uh, then uh, forward. I would go for uh, for Didier. Have to, have to. In goal? It was, uh, in goal, I would better check, <laughs> better check. But uh, yeah, a uh, striker, yeah, it would be Didier or Nicolas Anelka. But uh, yeah, Didier. Amazing. Well, thank you. That's a. I'm surprised you didn't put yourself in there. No, 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 because I'm the coach. Now I'm oh, the coach. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm well, the coach, and the coach can still uh, substitute one and come in. Well, hopefully one day, <laughs> hopefully one day we see you in a coaching role back here. Yeah, you never know. I'm getting, I'm getting ready. So, so yeah, I don't know. Amazing. Know. Thank you for joining us. Good luck with everything. It's very windy. What's the hair saying? Is it upside down poodle, or is it kind of okay? Hey guys, we are here on match night. This is win or lose to the Blues. All fans have to do is answer my four questions correctly and they get to win a Pulisic shirt. What year did Frank Lampard sign for Chelsea as a player? Uh, um, uh, 1999. No. Uh, 89. No. 2005. No. 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 1990. No. What year did Frank Lampard sign for Chelsea as a player? How am I supposed to know all this information? <laughs> what year did Frank Lampard sign for Chelsea as a player? Oh God, uh, 2001. Yes! That would be 2001. Yes! One. 2001? Yes! Uh, 2001. Yes! Oh, one. Yes! 2001? Yes! Okay, second question. <laughs> Do an impression of Drogba's <laughs> iconic celebration for us. I oh, can't do that. I don't know. Oh, God. No, we're Yay. failing badly. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Right, this is what? it? Yes! 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 yes. This one? Yes! <laughs> okay, against Bayern. Yes! <laughs> Drogba! Okay, which Chelsea player has won the World Cup, Euros, the Premier League, the Champions League, and the Europa League? Uh, Fabregas. No. Spanish. Oh, no. <laughs> Say that again, sorry. Oh, good question. Uh, I don't think it's Diego Costa. Uh, Giroud? No. Ah. It's got to be Petro, Premier isn't it? League. It's right! Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Petro. Yes! Pedro. Yes. Pedro, yes, yes! yes. Pedro. Yes! <laughs> okay, you fourth question. Oh my oh god. My god. Guys, this is stressful. <laughs> Okay, who is Chelsea's youngest ever hat trick scorer? Oh god, that is a tough one. Uh, Tammy Abraham? No. no! Is it Tammy? No! It's not Tammy? No! Is it Diego Costa? No! Oh. No! Holy oh, shit! Yes! 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 yes. 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 yes.